When dawn broke on November 22, 1963, the most popular comic in America, arguably, was a man named Vaughn Meter. For the past three years, there's somebody going around this country impersonating me. A former nightclub entertainer who had hitched his star to President Kennedy's fame. I didn't mind around the Washington, D.C. area, but now it's gone just a little bit too far. In fact, his parody of the Kennedy White House was the fastest selling pre-Beatles record in history. Forward, march! It won the Grammy Award for Album of the Year in 1962. Jackie, don't you frown, hiking's really easy. Not in an evening now. And even the attention of the president himself. Actually, I listened to Mr. Meader's record, but I thought it sounded more like Teddy than it did me, but... Uh... <laughs> but after that day in Dallas, Vaughn Meader never again found success as a comic. In Meader's later years, before his death in 2004, he worked as a part-time musician and pub manager in his native Maine. Vaughn Meter often described November 22, 1963 as, in his words, the day I died. <laughs>